Hey everyone, I've got a piece of uh, eighth inch thick, 18 inch by 18 inch 6061 aluminum, and I'm going to just do a quick demonstration on doing a very rough cut. This grind is going to be done with a 40 grit flap disc, which is really going to tear it up. You can see I've already done one side here, and it's really coarse. Uh, this is this is something that when you do this you can feel it really well and it actually will snag on well towels anything that has fiber that can be caught by the little tiny bits that you know it leaves there so we're gonna start with this side I'm just gonna grind it up on it I have a project in mind and we're gonna start and go from there One of the things I want to point out is the differences in when I was going vertical as well as horizontal. There's a lot built into, depending on the angle you apply the sander from, higher the angle, you're only going to get a little bit of the surface and it's not really what the flat disc is made for. So as you get more down to the, you know, parallel to where this part of the flat disc is flat against here, you get these wide strokes. But it should be pretty obvious through the video that there are very coarse marks and you can feel it in the metal. And then after I rotated doing that, even the original marks that were done vertically are still kind of showing through there. Uh, this really gouges the metal. Um, and personally, I think I'd rather use it on steel as opposed to aluminum, so I avoid doing this unless I have a particular uh, request for this style. Another point is that it's hard to see, but over here, there's a bit of a blackening to the grind because as you come in from the edge, the flap disc catches. And this is why I have these here is to keep the main piece from moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm probably give it another run, flip it over and do it a little bit backwards just to clean it up a little bit and then go from there. So this is the finished piece. I'm trying to get a good angle for the camera. You get an idea of the effect. And I'll try and go over in another video how to achieve certain effects depending on how you hold the grinder. And this still needs to be cleaned up a bit. The uh, another point is that this was from scrap aluminum and did not have this custom cut. It was something that was left over that I purchased. And uh, one of the points about it, when you're buying this sort of stuff, is you have to kind of expect some inconsistency. There's a really big scratch right along here that I honestly thought was not deep, not quite that deep, but apparently it is. And uh, that sort of thing, and if you're just doing a project for yourself or things like that, it's not a problem. But if you've got a commission or something, you're going to need to make sure that you go through with, uh, unfortunately, not a rough grid. You really want to, you kind of want to go over with either 80, maybe 60 to clean it up, get rid of stuff like this. 
and really grind it down. It becomes a lot of work if you use just the grinder. It really is better to have an arbor sander or a dual action sander to solve these particular problems. Uh, there are other flaws that probably don't show up in the camera at all. Uh, even though I've cleaned it up pretty well, I can see a couple fingerprints that aren't mine. Showing up here, here, and this is just, it's nothing against the guys at the shop. They don't know it's gonna be used for art. They, uh, and they don't wear gloves. They just handle this stuff because usually the applications, it doesn't matter. But, uh, so get to do a commission piece, you're gonna need to clean it up and things like that. You need to watch for these marks, pits, that sort of stuff. Uh, but overall, depending on how you, you know, apply it, if it could be somewhere it's in the center, hey, if you're gonna do a, a logo for somebody on a background like this and you got a scratch mark like that in the center, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna show up because you're gonna cover it with opaque stuff, so it's not a problem. So, uh, go ahead and uh, leave a comment if you got questions and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks.